Welcome to another edition of Buying My RV. My series uh, in which I'm trying to find the perfect RV if there's such a thing. My name is Jesus Manuela Mena Garza. I live in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, I've been checking out quite a few RVs. Currently I'm looking at the 2017 Grand Design Solitude 360 RL. It's a 39 foot, 4 inch uh, unit. Here's the back area where you can uh, have beverages, put some uh, pots and pans, and also watch some TV. It's a great little center for uh, outdoor picnicking. Uh, I do have a small complaint about the unit. I'll come to back to that in a second. Here's a refrigerator. It has a, a nice or small refrigeration section, but also has a, refri a freezer on the top. Very, very, very nice. I really appreciate that. Now to my complaint. My complaint about is about the drawers and how they construct them. Obviously, somebody is not doing a good job aligning their little staples here. I wonder if this stuff's going to break in a couple years or months, maybe even days. That's not a good job. You can do better, Grand Design. There's one, two, three, four aluminum steps, not steel steps, on the Grand Design Solitude 360 RL. This uh, fifth wheel has a 16-foot awning with a, a strip of LED lights. It also has high-gloss gel coat exterior sidewalls, uh, five-side aluminum cage construction, and is a wide body with 101 inches of wide body construction. And it has these are this is one of the features I really like: slam latch baggage doors and magnetic catches. And also has 50 amp service with detachable power cord. Very very nice. Each side has their own propane tank, and uh, this uh, unit features six-point hydraulic leveling system. One thing I don't like is a TPO roof covering with a 12-year warranty. Even though it has a 12-year warranty, I prefer fiberglass. Here are some of the specs. You'll need a truck that can tow at least 13,500 pounds, preferably 15,000 pounds just to be comfortable. Uh, the hitch weight is 2,007 pounds alone. The fresh water capacity is 54 gallons, the gray water 100, uh, the waste uh, water 50 gallons. It has a 3500 uh, BTU furnace and uh, 5000 BTU fireplace. And the bed is a residential queen. This is a great little spot to uh, put a bunch of batteries. If you're big into solar, you'll need to put a various uh, electronic components and batteries in this uh, front area it's a great area and if you have like a half a dozen panels on the top you're set to for some serious boondocking up front here you can see the very nice fiberglass cap in that uh, 16 foot uh, awning here's the business end of the fifth wheel I'm not much into decals. I still don't like decals. You can put the fanciest decals on there in the world. I won't like them. And this is where you uh, control the six-point hydraulic leveling system. Just press a couple buttons and you're set. Very nice. Yes, you can always go to the Grand Design uh, website. I'll be uh, leaving a link in the description. Here are the various uh, switches to control all the the valves for the dry camping, winterizing, and such. And down there below are the uh, various uh, valves to control the black and the two gray tanks and the low point drain. Very nice. This unit has a walk-on roof and 16-inch aluminum wheels. Very nice. Here's where you connect your 50-amp uh, power cord. Of course, if you have two ACs, you need 50 amps. There's your frameless windows. And this unit has five slides. Uh, I think a six would have been overkill, don't you think? Here's the back of the unit and the the rear lights are LEDs, which are save energy. And there's a little ladder, a little tiny ladder. If you're 200 pounds, you can probably make it up there. 
If you're 300 pounds, uh-uh, I wouldn't do it. Looks a little flimsy for to me. It's not like the uh, the ladder that they have on like the lances, which are A plus. This is I give this one only a C. There's the LED lights. In the rear uh, bumper there, I think you can put your uh, stinky slinky. I'm not sure of that. And right up there is a spout for when the rain comes. A sprout, uh, you know, it'll divert that rain. I really like the interior of the Grand Design. Grand Designs, they don't try to, you know, have a dozen different decors. They stick to a certain decor. They stick to certain coffee colors, uh, browns and tans, and they use good quality materials. They offer a convection oven, dishwasher prep, an oversized kitchen pantry, and they have four different packages that you can select from. I'm going to focus on some of the details here. Here's one of the lamp sconces. Very nice. It's beautifully done. Beautiful materials. I love the inserts for the fabrics. For it. And here's the seat. One of the Lazy Boy type seats. They're made by Thomas Payne. They have cup holders. They have massage. They have heat. Wow. Very, very nice. You can definitely fall asleep in those chairs. So there's one, two, and then you can sit another three people on the sofa. The cabinets have leaded glass uh, cabinet door inserts. Very nice. I like the window valances. They're uh, wood with fabric trim. They keep the light out when you want it nice and dark inside and you also those folks that want to take a peek they can they can look through the window they go no we can't see anything that's good here's another view of those uh that beautiful sofa beautiful colors beautiful floors i really like it but it's what you think don't forget to leave your comments what you think of the uh, grand design unit this unit has no uh, heat registers in the floor. I love this feature. The cathedral beam ceilings. Here's a shot from the other side and a view of the uh, kitchen. And the solid uh, countertops. Aluminum refrigerator. They have a... Uh, it comes with uh, AC-DC uh, and uh, propane refrigerator as standard, but you can get a residential style if you wish as an option. Here's a close-up of the solid surface uh, countertops and the uh, twin bowl uh, sink. Stainless steel. I, I prefer stainless steel over the other surfaces. Some, some manufacturers have uh, plastic sinks, some have uh, the American stone cast. I really prefer the stainless steel. And that little desk area a nice addition. You have a little chalkboard in the back so you can pay all your bills. Here's a view of the dinette set. I really like the fabrics. Again, very contemporary, modern. Here's a view of the racetrack ducting stealth AC system. You can always pause the video and there's a view of the ducts, the speakers, and the uh, AC system. It has two AC you know, units in this um, fabulous fifth wheel. There's that big TV and that fireplace requires 120 volt power. So if you're parked somewhere at some uh, RV park you can just uh, keep toasty without using your propane. Here's a view of some of the cabinet hardware. It's high quality and they have very shallow little uh, shelves in the uh, TV unit, but uh, they're useful. You can put some uh, DVDs in there, you can put some uh, other items, and there's a lamp on the top. As you enter the uh, fifth wheel, there's uh, an area where you can put your jackets, your coats, and here's the uh, junction box. Another view of the entrance. Come up a few stairs, and to the left there's the uh, 
bathroom. It's a modest size bathroom. And then you got the only carpeted area in the fifth wheel. It comes with a queen size bed, but you can have the option of a king size bed. And there's the uh, second AC unit in case you're somewhere where it's toasty, you want to cool down, and there's a thermostat to control uh, the temperature. Comes with three nice pillows and a bedspread. There's a view of the large closet and behind that door is an area where you can that's been prepped for a washer and dryer. There's the window out with the view outside and another large TV. That's the third one we've seen today so far. And there's the washer and dryer area. You can uh, use it as a closet also of course but some people uh, prefer to use it for its intended purpose to put a washer and a dryer inside there. Here's another view from the reverse side from if you're sitting in that washer dryer area for whatever reason. And there's the uh, dresser, a set of dresser drawers. Very nice, very uh, traditional, but also contemporary. I'm going to get inside here. I'm wearing my jacket because it was cold in Fort Worth that day. This is an average size uh, bathroom with several areas where you can put stuff. Uh, towels, linens, and this is uh, a standard style uh, vent, no uh, remote or anything special. And there's your medicine cabinet where you could put all your toothpaste, your medicine, and it has a nice little bowl. Some people don't like the bowl, but I do like it because it leaves you a little area there so you can put more stuff on the counter. Nice floors, porcelain toilet, Nice metal fixtures. The 2017 Grand Design Solitude 360 RL features a one-piece shower surround. Very nice. It has one, two little areas where you can put your shampoos in a special little spot so you can put your tuchus, your rear end, and uh, take care of business and shower in peace. Here's a close-up of one of the air vents, and here's a close-up of the bathroom GFCI uh, plug, and here's a close-up of the bowl. I sort of like the bowl myself. And finally, we end up with a wide shot of the fifth wheel. So thank you very much for checking out my video on the 2017 Grand Design Solitude 360RL, a 39-foot, 4-inch fifth wheel. Please go to the description of this uh, video for links to my Patreon page and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.